His Excellency Abdulaziz al Ghareh is chairman of the UAE Banks Federation and CEO of Mashrik Bank. In an interview with him earlier, he gave me his opinion on different aspects of the UAE economy, including the introduction of VAT, help for SMEs, and the much-discussed bankruptcy law. He started, though, by telling me about the launch of the Abdullah al Ghareh Foundation's Open Learning Scholars Program for Young Arabs in partnership with the world's top university, MIT, in the U.S. This program, giving a micro master and to be followed by a master degree to Arab students, they can do it from home, from work, and they can have the best combination, still living here in the Arab world, working and studying. Hopefully, more and more such program will be available, and now the Arab youth will have a choice to go to the classical university on campus, which is great, but those who don't have the time and who cannot afford it, they come through our program where they can have access to online learning uh, through our uh, partnership. We will be launching more and more of such program. So giving access to our youth uh, of high quality education. Let's now turn to the broader economy. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about the introduction of VAT or value added tax from early next year. Does this, do you think, spell the end of the tax-free status of the GCC and particularly the UAE? I think the government was wise in giving our people here advance notice. It is a practice done around the world. You know, it is time for people to share the responsibility. While you make money, you also pay. And this is indirect, you know, it's not a direct taxation, it's on, on sales and services. So, and I think every citizen and every expat living here also understand why the government is doing this. And I think all of them would like to contribute to the well-being of the, of the nation. We know that the SME sector particularly is the hardest hit when there's a global slowdown or the, the economy falters. So how do you think the UAE loan restructuring scheme will help? I think it will appreciate it, both from the community, from the customer, from the banking, from our regulator. They saw the banking community have done a, a proactive uh, you know, approach to really ensure the genuine customer who got in trouble, we will work with them. There's been much talk about the UAE bankruptcy law. Do you think this is still a priority for the UAE banking sector? I think bankruptcy law is a must to have if we want to move to the, the, the world class economy. Uh, it is a protection for the customer. The customer knows what the consequence of getting in, in, in default with all his borrowing is it's a way forward for the banking system. They know what they can do and what they cannot do. And it also gives the customer peace of mind. So, you know, um, it's a very transparent system and it's protecting also the economy. The UAE mobile wallet has been in the news a lot recently. Is this a, a clear example, do you think, of the UAE banking sector embracing new technology? I think uh, the mobile wallet has progressed extremely well and banks worked together, banks worked with the regulator and banks also worked with other government entities to pull not a fragmented solution but to pull a comprehensive solution that you can do things on your mobile wallet that hopefully very few countries can offer this kind of a solution. Hopefully, in the near future, you will hear a lot more about a mobile wallet. And just finally, Your Excellency, you know, should we be worried today about the current price of oil on the economy? I am not an oil expert, but the good news is, you know, UAE have been able to diversify their income as a country. We are 70 percent non-oil based from our GDP. Our target to go to 95 by 2030. So 
we had the wisdom to diversify our income as a country and will continue to diversify. Oil, we have no control. It could be 50, 40, 60, and you know, we have to create alternative source of income for the, for the, for the country. Therefore, we'll need to deal with it, but we don't control it.